Alright guys, I am back. I am still doing more inscription and uh, I'm now fighting Majestus, one of the scribes. The reason that uh, you didn't see me beat the dude before him was because I failed at beating Majestus like three times so I just started this episode over so you guys wouldn't have to just slog through me getting beat on by him. And we changed our deck up a little bit too because we need to do as much damage as humanly possible. As quickly as possible. That pulls us out a rabbit. So what if you're not flying? It doesn't matter. Yeah. You can use your brush on your cards all you want. I'm still gonna mess you up. By far the worst scribe. Oh, I must have gotten his eye when I got my magic eye. What? Battery low. Oh, we get more video clips from Lucky Carter. And Cam works. Who's Cam? Where do they work? I think I've just got to send it. To whom it may concern. It's a bit formal. Game. Hello there! Ooh, no. Exclamation point. My name is Luke Carter and I'm a fan of your collectible card games. If you've ever taken a look at my YouTube videos, you will know how appreciative I am of the merch that you've sent me over the years. So it was a great surprise to learn that there is a digital version of Inscription. I think maybe one of my fans pranked me and buried a copy in the woods near my house. Upon further research, however, I have not been able to find any record of this game. Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? Any trace of this game? Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? The game doesn't seem like the work of a prankster. It at least appears professionally made. I am both puzzled and excited by this discovery. Any information you can provide would be much appreciated. 
Thank you, the lucky carter. Nice. Okay. Good enough. Set. Nice. <clears throat> hey, card gamers. I'm the lucky carter, and this... Well, it's a bit of a strange video. Um, it's actually more of a question to my audience. As I've learned over the years, nobody knows card games better than you guys do. So I'm hoping someone can help me out here. Well? Did anyone ever play an inscription video game? Or hear about it? I'm talking about that vintage one set card game I opened packs for last week. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I don't want to get in any trouble here. You're um, probably going to get into a lot of trouble, man. I think I've got the only known copy of the digital version of Inscription. I've been uh, filming myself playing it, and... Uh, it's weird. It's weird, guys. It's really weird. <laughs> That's uh, another statement. I don't want to get in any hot water by showing the footage, but can someone please prove me wrong? Please tell me someone has a copy of this game. I have been looking online for days, and I cannot find... I reached out to the publishers, hoping maybe they, they would get, get back, back to, me. to me. But as a fallback, I got you beautiful viewers. Oh, the publishers will get back to you, all right. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's the video today, guys. Uh, thank you so much, as always. Well, and well, um, Oh, yeah. Uh, what the fuck is the car? What the fuck is the what? Mr. Carter, we have received your inquiry regarding a digital version intellectual property inscription. I can assure you that no such software exists in any official form. However, if you have indeed come into possession of proprietary game arena hardware, you are compelled to return it to us under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. The hardware will be considered stolen if it is not returned to us within a reasonable time frame. Please carefully package the hardware and paste the attached shipping label to the front of the box. You may mail the package at a local post office. We would like to avoid taking legal action in your case, so please do not delay in returning the proprietary software. Sincerely, Game Funa, customer happiness department. What the fuck? I'd be mad too. I'd be like, I sent you an inquiry. I think this woman's actually from Game Funa. She came to my door yesterday and I didn't answer. This time I'm going to record it. for a game called Inscription. I was told you came by a copy of it somehow. Uh, Sound familiar? No. No? No, I don't know anything about that. Really? Inscription, you said? Yes. No, I don't think so. Really? Because, um, apparently, apparently you, you do. us about it. You are a <laughs> Luke Carter, right? Oh. <laughs> you know the Lucky Carter gmail.com? Yeah, uh, you know what? That's, uh, I am Luke Carter, but that's not my email address. Okay, because uh, I just noticed because I've seen your videos. Oh. <laughs> on a big fan. Yeah, <laughs> they uh, Thanks for kind of hard to hide as a public persona. Listen, uh, how did you know where I live exactly? My boss gave me your address. And how did you get past the side gate? It's locked. <laughs> okay, Luke. Um, I'm going to give you my business card. And if you remember anything, anything at all, feel free to give me a call. Okay? Will do. Ooh. Take care. Mr. Carter is getting in trouble here. What the fuck? Oh, error. 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 Hey there, card gamers! I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today I'm opening Secrets of Legendaria. Secrets Hoping of Legendaria. Hoping for that sweet, sweet foil Valamir. Of Legendaria. Legendary Diarrhea. Baba Bia, Baba Bia, baby got the diarrhea. Mama Mia, Papa Pia, baby got the diarrhea. <laughs> 
Okay. He's even magical crow back. The fudgels? That's cool. Another one. I'm ready to have him go all high noon up in here. Okay. So. Pay two bones. Have the heap go by one. Pay one bone to create a skeleton in your hand. Hmm. Flying and right is good, but it's just not that good. After attacking, he perishes. Also, if Skullmongus' owner controls no Mox cards, Skullmongus perishes. Okay, so I don't want to use him because he's Mox Reliant. This guy's probably going to be a late game card, but it's good. Three Blood, Infinite Sacrifice, also good. Four Bones, and then becoming a turn one boss is really strong. Oops. Uh, the pets are okay, I guess. Bubble Shrug. The Shrug has dealt a single point of damage. That's cool, but it's really not that good. Actually, I don't want that many sarcophagus in my deck. Let's take a look at blood options. Definitely Mantis. Uh, definitely wolf. The bunnies do make bones, which are nice. But that takes stuff. I guess I'll just max out on like the dudes that I know are useful. Oh yeah, let's go, let's check back over here and see if anything's changed. Nothing's changed, okay. So we've beaten two of the scribes. Uh, I think I want to do Leshy last. I think I might do Poe next. Poe is fairly easy if memory serves. Challenge me. Da 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 He wants me to have a better deck. Well, I will mess you up. Oh, I need to do the thing. Like the circuit bots, that's a leapfroggy bot. I'm just gonna cheese out the two damage real fast. Pay to get a skeleton. Uh, whoops, that was the wrong one. I might have screwed myself. Oh shit snacks. Say like, hey kid, I hear like bones. Oh well that's fortuitous. Whew. 
just what I needed. Just what I needed. And now I'm getting bones. Heck yeah. Okay, so we definitely misplayed that a little early, but that's okay. Well, he's going to send himself down the line for Poe. I somehow feeling that's going to be a running theme. Mr. Mr. Melter. Melvin the Melter. Oh man, four bones or one thing. I want the wolf. I the wolf. Sacrifice drops, it's so simple. It makes running, I actually might want to run another wolf cub. It makes running that card like really useful. So, is he also gonna say, What did I come to tell you? Oh, yeah, I came to tell you, you get to go die now. Minus two. So we beat Majestus, we beat in a couple of the little dudes. That's that guy. Techno card back. Nothing of 
major use. Figure out where there's gonna be trash bombs. But I beat everyone, didn't I? I guess there's one more maybe? Oh, we're gonna find out. Oh wait, those are pack things? I want three packs. Uh, I remember when I did this run and I was playing the robot deck that the tank was good. Oh man, the snake is good. Snake do snake. Okay, so there is something down here. Oh, the computer itself. Alright, well, I'll beat you up. Bam. Bam. give you this on. Here, take your pack. Ooh, the cat. Okay. economy up in here. Haven't gotten much better. Yeah, now I finally get to battle him. Oh, it's the conveyor belt, yep. better cards okay so let's take a look at grave digger and skeleton so skeletons really aren't doing me much at this point when dead hand is played discard your hand then draw a new hand of four cards so that is definitely something I'm gonna want Cat is just better. And I want to max out on wolf cubs. Don't worry, another battle. Absolutely, we'll go first. They want to create a skeleton in your hand. So at this point, I actually want to sacrifice the skeleton. Because I think that he could be potentially very valuable. My laptop. 
to. I can, okay, cool. Hey, skeleton. Hey, skeleton. Pay two, so I can pay four, make them big, and kill the frozen. Oh, it explodes. He's already gonna do the damage to the one in the back. Pay to increase the power and health of the heat by one more. I absolutely think I will. Absolutely mantis that. Stats. Oh. Well, yeah, it could. Yeah, that was that was crazy easy. RNG, no, no RNG, just kill there. All right, so next we got Leshy, and then after Leshy, we are going to move to the next part of the game. Scribe of the Dead. The name Spinster, you ought to reconsider. Uh, well, you know what? I think she's cool. All right, you guys, for everyone on YouTube, I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.